So in this video, can, we can see how we take 3D images with the Mini 2 to get results like this one. I'm actually in the application blender. I use it always at the end so I can fit the size, the resolution and also the quality of the, the image. We can see here it's quite a good result and I will show you step by step how we can do that. The most important point is the, the mission, how we take the pictures in a terra like this. You can see we have not a flat terra, so it's very important that we have good missions programs and also for the map creator to create elevation mission. I always use two missions, a 2D flat mission, in this case elevation mission and a 3D spherical mission. The spherical mission is here to give us a good environment to calculate all the, the images between. And you can also see the elevation mission here on the screen. It follows the Terra. So that's one of the secrets how we get really perfect images. But let's start with some theory. So important thing for photogrammetry is the overlap. We have to get between 40 and 60% overlap. Also the altitude is very important. So we have to take pictures in different altitudes and the pitch angle. With minus 90 degree pitch angle you cannot take the facades from the buildings. So one of the best angle is 70 degrees. If you have a difficult terra like here, it's better to use the elevation mission so you can follow the terra. That gives always the same distance to the object. The best way is always to combine the missions, a 3D spherical mission and a 4 waypoint Terra mission. So we can choose the security from the right altitude to be near to the object. You can also see here on this picture I started near the barn. So that changed the whole mission altitude too. We can see that later in the app. For this vertical images it's important that you also change the distance that's better for the image alignment and also for the texture now let's see how we can create the, the missions so i'm at home actually i will change the place so you can type <coughs> the location and then change to the, the view to satellite. And now we can see this barn where I took the, the picture. So here we have different possibilities for the mission, 2D mission, 3D mission, inception, panorama and vertical mission. So we will start with the 2D mission if we will make an elevation mission, it's important that you choose European location or world location. For the European location, I have 25 meter precision. For the world location, 30 meters. So we create the first waypoint. It's a yellow waypoint with an S, which means start. Second waypoint with a T means target. So I have here the square. Then I can stop add waypoints. Click these waypoints and move them. And I will change the grid. Very small grid. and I will choose cross pass. Now what we can see if we have only four waypoints we can switch to 3D and if I switch to 3D we have the elevation of this region. So the start point it takes the 60 meters you can find here and then the other points you can see 76 meters and the final point 68 meters. 
so it took the elevation of this terra now uh, what we can do is change this elevation 60 meters is much too high so the first waypoint will be at 24 meter the second waypoint at 30 the third at 41 and the last at 33 we can change that later when we are flying so one important point is always that we have the start point the start point has always the elevation we indicate here in the menu but we can change this start point elevation when we are flying with the aircraft we can also move the, the whole mission with the aircraft like we can do an offset so that's uh, all to create a 2d mission with elevation important that you are on 3d and you take only four waypoints now we can save the path of this mission it will directly save this mission to the iCloud so we can later on pick it up from any iPhone or iPad to fly the mission so we give a name I've already uh, saved some barns so I will, I will not save it but you can see it here I've already done it then uh, what we can do is save the camel file that's uh, very important to check it on Google Earth for waypoint I already did it so I will not do it I will show you later how it looks like onto Google Earth so in Google Earth I will create a new project now I can import a mission Now you will see it flies on the place with the barn. And then we can check this mission. It's much too high, but that's no problem. We can change that later on into the flight app HDR panel with the, <coughs> the aircraft already in the air. So now you can see it follows the Terra. Now let's see how we create the 3D mission. So I'm at an altitude from 24 meter. I will change it to 30 meter. We can also change that into the HDR Pano application when we are flying with the aircraft. Center point, radius. So the start point will be at north. Here at 30 meters it will go up to 59 meters and here with a pitch angle of minus 70 degrees here we have minus 45 and here we have minus 25 degree actually I have a photo distance from 25 meter so we will change that every 8 meter that gives us 68 images for the whole mission this is actually a mission we cannot do into the Leechy app as I use a special uh, mission program into the HDR panel program but you could use the Helix mission that works fine with the Leechy app here we have the same proce procedure you can save the, the path of the mission and you can also save the kernel file so let's do that I will change this project I will load the new project so and here you can see the 3d mission so you can always check the 3D mission at this point it will be important as we have three trees here <clears throat> but we can also change the middle point 
of our mission so that we can be aware of these trees here. Also here, this one. So always important to check the mission into Google Earth. When we load the mission, we can change the altitude and also with offset the start point with the aircraft in the place. So that's very practical, so you can move the whole mission and also the whole mission altitude for each mission into the app. What we can see here is the 3D mission with the DJI Mini 2 in virtual stick mode. So it's very close to the Terra. The 24 meter is from the start point from the barn, not from the Terra here up. And this 3D mission is very important to have good environment images for the photogrammetry process. I will speed up the mission. So that's the first circle. Then we go to the second one with different altitude and we change also the pitch angle. Now the second round with a different pitch angle. That's also uh, very important for the photogrammetry process. Now we go up to the third circle. We change the pitch angle again and we have a different altitude which gives us always the same distance to the object. Then the final point from the Nardier and the mission will stop. Now in the next step I will show you how we load the 2D elevation mission. So I have quite a lot of missions here. So you can see the elevation. And now I will fly to the start point of the mission. So I can move the mission or also see the altitude and now I will adapt the altitude of the whole mission. Actually I'm at 30 meters so I go down. The loaded mission was about 10 meters and the flight altitude 30 meters so now I can adapt and go near to 10 meters and see if it's possible to do so. So even at 18 meters I'm too high, so I will decrease the altitude. I changed the mission altitude to 13 meters, now I will check if it's possible to do so. Now I will do a simple camera check. I have also a start position from my own where I can see the whole mission with the aircraft. And I will start the mission. I will speed up the mission. We can see there is quite a lot of images and the speed is calculated to have enough time to save the images. The next step is to create a 3D model from our images. So it's quite impressive what we can do with reality capture. So it's free you can download it and test it and it's quite impressive what we can do with this uh, program and it's quite fast that's one of the big advantage so if you start with photogrammetry it's one of the right tools to do it Here we can see the final result on Sketchfab of this barn with Metashape. Now it's up to you to choose what I will do as next from video, how to put together the images or how to publish the images on Sketchfab. Let me know and thanks for watching.